they caused the earth and them which dwelt therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And he doing oh, yeah. great. Well, yeah, because you're right. The, the wound was healed because the ancient Roman Empire went down, but it, it was resurrected and got healed. Because America is just a Roman Empire reincarnated. All, only thing, America runs on the same principles and philosophies as the ancient Roman Empire. That's why when you look on the dollar bill, everything is written in Latin. Nobody out here speaks Latin. How come it ain't written in English? That's because Latin is the language of the Roman Empire. That's why. That's why the Supreme Court is a Roman temple. It's a temple. It's not, it's not a, 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 a government building. It's a pagan temple. It's just like Capitol Hill is a temple. Just like the State House downtown, you go to the State House downtown on High Street, is a pagan temple. It's a temple to Jupiter. That's a fact. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, um, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause effect as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Yeah, right there. Yeah. That mark in their forehead, that's talking about a microchip. Get on Google and Google Google microchip implants in your brain. Get, get on any searches in Google. Uh, 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 Microchip brain implants. Look that up on Google. Google, Google, because Google themselves, the company Google, that they're uh, they're researching right now how to put microchips inside your brain so you can get on the internet through the microchip in your brain. They've already tested it out on mice, and some people already got them in the military. So, so they're gonna have they're gonna implant people with microchips in your hand because right now people already got microchips in their hand. You, you can pay for your, uh, you can pay for your, uh, <laughs> for your merchandise with the microchip scanner in some stores. Uh, you can already pay for your uh, merchandise with the, with a smartphone, but soon it, they're gonna put all that information into the microchip. Cause right now the government can track uh, your location with the GPS with your smartphone. Soon that's going to be inside the microchip. Mexico's police station is all up on microchips. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mexico can Well, yeah, a lot of those, a lot of those uh, Silicon Valley tech companies, a lot of them people already got microchip implants in their hand. And a lot of them techies, they, they put a microchip in your hand that you can't even log on to your computer. Say, if you got a laptop, you know how usually you got to log in, you put in your name and password? They got it so to get on their computer, all they got to do is wave their hand over the computer and it scans the microchip. That's a new technology. Oh, that's sweet, man. I guess I have it. That's a fool for it. Yeah, that's a fool. I like technology, but not that damn much. Right. Here's you ain't putting no microchip in my brain. That's right. I didn't tell them what happens if you get that chip. I go straight to it. Okay, this is Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image... Worship the beast? Worship the beast means you bow down to the government, you being a perfect slave. You know, you uh, talking about you a great American. <laughs> you putting this piece of shit country before the Lord, before the Bible, the words of the Lord. Like we talking about these freaking Uncle Tom's, they taking up for the cops. Mm. Then you got people, they, they worship uh, fucking football players. 
They care more about football players than their own family and their own children. A bunch of dumbasses. If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup. Without mixture, it's going to be pure destruction. Mm. Poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. So that fire, that brimstone, that's not talking about uh, a mythological underworld. That's talking about nuclear missiles. Okay, y'all gonna learn what fire and brimstone is all about. Y'all ever heard of a nuclear missile, an ICBM? You ever seen one of those before? A Topol M? Yeah, a Topol. You know what a Topol is? <laughs> or an Isklander. An uh, Isklander. <laughs> Shit. Them Isklers are bad. Those are the ones that Russia use that they can put their multiple uses. Yeah. For, uh, they can use them to take a whole country out with a uh, EMP pulse, electromagnetic EMP. Well, or was, they can put nukes on them. I mean, I was just listening to Jeff Rents the other night. And they was on there talking about Russia's scientific achievements in the past 20 years or so. Thanks. And, but they're not even sharing their their, their scientific advan advancements with the rest of the world. Mm. They keeping everything secret. They keeping it for themselves. That's right. So they got some bad shit room for your ass. They got, they got the, the top of the line missiles. <laughs> yeah, the U.S. can't even make it to the space station yeah, they, no they more. Can't make it. Yeah, the U.S. is a joke. The United States is a joke. Y'all can't make it to the space station without <laughs> Russian technology. <laughs> That's amazing. They failed like uh, last seven missile tests, didn't they? Mm -hmm. well, you, well, you know the United States is a joke when, when uh, Putin is more popular than Obama. So. People over here like Putin better than Obama. Right. You got people saying they want to move to Russia. That's right. So you know this this place is on its way out. Right. America is, get, is getting flushed down the toilet. It's circling the drain. <laughs> it's like a turd going down the toilet. It's circling. It's like that's what you do to a piece of shit is you flush it. CTD. You, when you take a shit, get that in Joe 20. When you take a shit, you take that big old shit in the toilet, you don't just leave it sitting there in the toilet. You get you flush it. <laughs> you get it out of there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because America's like enough to a, 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 a mountain of dung. And what, what scripture is that, man? A dung. A mountain of dung. And then liken America to a dung. I'm gonna look that up. Joe 20. 20. 20, man. We haven't read that in a minute. Yeah, Here, put this glove on. That's actually one of my favorite scriptures. Yeah, that's always been my favorite scripture. Joe 20 is just pure fire. You got them good gloves. I got some cheap ass gloves. They store your body heat. You get them off the internet? Yeah. Columbia. Columbia. He ain't got a, he got his whole outfit off the internet. He, damn, what was you looking up, Joe Twenty? Uh, you can read, man. You can read a whole chapter, bro. Oh, yeah. Read a whole chapter. Well, that's a that's a chapter of inspiration for you. You want to talk about morale as low? Read Joe Twenty. That always, I ain't, I ain't read it in a minute either. Cause I, I, need, I, I used to read it so much. We used to read Joe Twenty every week we came out here. <laughs> Joe Twenty. Where's we my... all relate to Joe, my right or wrong, you know. We all relate to Joel, man. Joel was, he was familiar with grief. Grief, suffering, you know. Go ahead, bro, my back. Job 20, verse 1. Then entered Sapat the, the, the Nemanite and said, Therefore do my thoughts cause me to answer, and for this I make, I make haste. I have heard the check of my reproach, and the spirit of my understanding causes me to answer. Knowest thou this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short. The triumphing of the wicked is short. 
So if you out here, you be like, I can't take too much more of this. I can't take, I can only, you know, you want to commit suicide because life is so fucked up. Now don't worry, because read that again. The Bible says that triumphing of the wicked is short. It might seem like this is taking forever for this shit to be uh, destroyed. But sooner or later, it's going to be over before you know it. Uh, read that. Knowest thou, knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphant of the wicked is short. Just like, you know, sometimes you think like winter will last forever. But before you know it, summertime will be here. And summer just flies right yeah. by. Well, it, well, you know, parabolically speaking, summertime will last forever. Keep going. And the joy of the hypocrites, but for a moment. Yeah, so, the joy of the hypocrites, but for a moment. Like he read earlier, it's a hypocritical nation. Keep going. Go his excellency uh, mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds. Oh, he's just talking about that, wasn't we? Though his excellency <laughs> mount to the heavens, like we was talking about uh, how they got the space station out in outer space. They, they, these devils are so proud that they got space stations, they got satellites. You know what I mean? Keep going. Though his excellency mount to the heavens, keep going. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. So he gonna perish forever like his own dung. That's why we said America will get flushed down the toilet like a pile of shit. 